Good morning friends and happy Monday. It is the 1st of August today which makes me super excited because it means that my birthday is this month and my boyfriend's birthday is this month and several other family members birthdays are this month but mine is on the last day of August for those of you who don't know. Um, sorry I'm filming like this. I just realised that a lot of the time I feel like I don't actually film very much so who cares if I've got no makeup on and I've got bed hair, I'm going to film anyway. Archie is waiting patiently for his breakfast, aren't you? Yes. And I've got a super busy day today because I've somehow got to transform this absolute tip of a place. Ignore the conservatory, we always ignore the conservatory, it's the dumping ground, one day when the house is done the conservatory will be emptied, but the rest of the house is also a tip. Um, dishwasher needs doing, everything needs cleaning, the floors are awful, all this needs to go upstairs, um, and upstairs is just as bad as well. Because my friend is coming over today, and I've known her since we were 11. Uh, we went to secondary school together and she has a baby now um he's called noah he was born last month and i cannot wait to meet him obviously i won't film i'm not going to put somebody's baby on youtube but um i'm so excited to meet him but i've got to make sure the house is nice and clean because i hate it when people come over and the house is a mess um and normally on a Sunday, I would go around and clean up all the bits that really need doing, but we were out at christening yesterday, at our nephew's christening all day, so we didn't get a chance. Hi guys, it's the end of the day now, it's just gone five o'clock, and I had a lovely time catching up with my friend and meeting her baby, he is so lovely, I'm so glad they came around and we're hoping to do it again soon. Um, Archie was really good as well, he really behaved himself, he got a bit jealous when I was holding the baby and started to cry, which was quite funny, but other than that he was really good. Um, I've, I cleaned the whole house before they came and it's looking much better, but I now have to clean up all of this mess because after my friend went home, I finished packing up the few orders that I didn't manage to get done in the morning, and I just nipped to the post office and posted them all out, so they will all be sent out at last collection this evening and yeah I'm all up to date now. can't remember if I said this morning or not, if I did I'll edit this bit out but um, thank you so much to everyone who ordered over the weekend. I had a 35% off sale and that's quite a lot of money to take off but it resulted in quite a few orders and the money is really going to help me out. It's really going to soften the blow of the bills that came out of my account today. It's nowhere near enough to cover the bills but it definitely will soften the blow when the funds are available next week and yeah, I just feel a little bit more positive today. Um, yeah, It helps when your packaging is really pretty. <laughs> this is what I send out the majority of my orders in but at the moment I don't have anything bigger than this so if people order big items at the moment they're being sent out in boring envelopes um, so I need to get some better ones look at this little face hello Archie hello Archie oh where are you going what have you heard filmed today like of my face because I look awful but I have to film this because it's so funny so basically we came to Tesco's in Newbury and we've had like the most eventful trip ever um we <laughs> first of all I saw an old man get reversed into which I'm only laughing because he wasn't hurt it was his trolley that was hit but oh my gosh it was awful then I saw a dog locked in a car in distress and I had to go in and report it and then call the police to get that sorted out. And now my mum's tried to start our car, right? And the battery's dead and we've pulled over some poor boy to try and jump start the car. So now we're in this situation. No one actually knows how to jump start a car. 
but everyone's giving it a go and Archie is basically dead in the footwell like what the heck is going on someone get me out where is he going <laughs> I don't know what's going on! Hi guys, I'm sorry I've been so rubbish with filming this week. I just have nothing going on in my life at the moment. Um, but I'm hoping I'm going to have some more exciting stuff to show you this weekend because we are off to my parents' caravan this weekend in Hailing Island. Very, very excited. And I've just been packing stuff today and trying to tidy up the house a bit so that when we leave it's nice and tidy and we come back to a tidy house. I'm just packing Archie's little bag though and I thought I'd show you some of the things I take with me when we take him to the van. So because we'll probably be going on longer walks and um, walking along the beach and stuff, I'm taking his black lead and he has a matching harness which I'll grab. So we do actually have the waggy tail uh, black and white polka dot harness for him but this one fits him a lot better, this style in the size small. Um, the polka dot one we have that matches this is a different style of harness and it's in a size small as well and it's still a little bit too big for him so I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take his slightly older collar. I got him this when he was 12 weeks old I think and it's funny because at the time it was like his poshest collar but now he's got <laughs> um, some much nicer ones. It's got his gold Barks and Bijou tag on there I'll leave his silver one at home and just take his gold one and he's gonna wear that because I don't know if you guys know I didn't know until I got Archie and um, it's actually against the law for you to take your dog to a public place and not have a collar with an identity tag on it even if they're microchipped so whenever I take him out he always wears a collar with a tag I've got his little waterproof coat with fleece on the inside because the weather is so unpredictable at the moment and um, on the beach it tends to be really cold anyway. We went in June and it was freezing and he had to wear his coat. He's only a tiny little dog and he shivers when the slightest breeze blows so I'm taking his coat. And then I'm taking his rough and tumble drying coat just in case he rolls in anything on a walk and we have to bathe him and then leave him to dry or if he manages to get into the sea which I do not think he will do. <laughs> and finally I'm taking the Pancho's wardrobe sweatshirt that we bought at Dogfest. It's really cute. I have a review of it on the blog. Um, I'm just taking that again just in case it's freezing cold and I want something to put underneath his harness. As well as his spotty lead we're also taking his flexi lead just in case his brush and then we're taking his bed um, his crate as well we're taking his crate a separate bed for the car and um, for inside the caravan and all of his toys and food obviously so yes that's everything we're taking good morning scruffy pup is having his breakfast I'm having a cup of tea and I'm watching a video by Emma from Polly's Paper Crafts and she makes really lovely process videos and scrapbook videos if you're interested. I'm just keeping a very close eye on the puppy because we don't have carpet in our house um, and if he has accidents inside then it's just on hard floor but obviously if he has an accident here, not ideal. Oh, you went all the way round. Do you want a drink? I put a bowl of water down for you. Look. Here you go. Archie, look, it's water. Good boy. guys we are in the car and we're off to Havant which is about well it's not far from 
oh my camera just hit the windscreen it's not far from where we are in Hailing Island um, but it's just on the mainland so we had to cross the bridge and we're off to a dog show called Paws in the Park I've never been to this one before I'd never even heard of it before um, but we're going there see if it's any good and there's a fun dog show today and if I can smuggle Archie in I might try and enter him into cutest puppy or something because I looked at the rules and it says they have to be six months old but I'm not sure whether that applies to the fun dog show or whether that's just the um, companion dog show that they're running in conjunction with the kennel club I don't know we're gonna have a go It's nice and warm, the water. It's still deep. Achi! Look! Achi! What's that? Oh, are you enjoying it now? Oh, look, he's trying to get one. Oh, I need to get round. <laughs> what is it, Achi? Oh, yay! <laughs> oh, yeah. He's laying there on the sofa next to a cushion that says, this is the life. <laughs> he certainly looks like he's having a good time. it's about eight o'clock now just had a mad goose chase around the front of the caravan because will oh my god the dog is on the sofa again <laughs> my mom's gonna kill me i'll get him down in a second um will went to get takeaway for us he's just gone to get fish and chips i'm just gonna have chips i think i'm gonna have like chip butties or something um but anyway archie gets very stressed when one of us leaves and so he was sat by the door um waiting for will to come home and i was trying to distract him but the door was open because it was really warm in here and then he just launched himself out of the caravan and like one door of our caravan has steps going down the other one doesn't and he just launched himself out of the caravan onto the gravel there's cars and people out there it's on this horrible bumpy road and he's so tall, uh, tiny that if a car came along that little back road like they wouldn't even see him i immediately panicked but the worst thing you can do with archie is chase after him because he'll just run away from you so i had to try and like throw gravel towards him to try and get him to like be distracted by the gravel and like come running to grab it so that i could grab Naughty, him aren't you you're just really naughty today. Well, not today, just this evening. Hi guys, sorry my face looks like this. I've just been sat in the sea breeze for quite a while and so it sent my hair and my face crazy but this morning we got up and we just had a very chilled few hours and then we went to Chichester and it was a bit of a nightmare because um, I think maybe Archie had an upset stomach he just wasn't behaving like himself he wouldn't walk nicely on the lead um, he went to uh, stop to go to the loo quite a few times and normally he only goes like twice a day um, so I think maybe he had an upset stomach maybe he'd eaten something um, while we were out yesterday or something like that but also he won this little contest where you had to get the uh, tennis balls out of the paddling pool and then the treats that they gave them are all things that he's never had before um, and he's fed like entirely on a grain free diet and then they were fed things like bonios and stuff like that so I don't know whether that upset his stomach but either way he just wasn't himself today and we were there for like less than an hour and we ended up coming home because 
he just wasn't behaving and it just wasn't enjoyable um, and then from there we went to get some lunch we thought if we could just sit out on a terrace with him he might have a nap uh, he didn't but he behaved himself much better and um, he did just sort of curl up after a little while and we went to a place called the Inn on the Beach which does nice food and you can sit out on the terrace and have a really beautiful sea view and I took a little bit of footage of the view and now we're back at the van for a little while I don't know if we'll go out again now we'll probably stay here and chill for a bit and then um, start packing up to head home I'm kind of hoping my mum and my brother are going to spend a few days at the van next week and I think I'll come down here again because Will is away and um, I would just rather be here to be honest so yeah I got this mug today while we were in Chichester though, um, it's from Kath Kidston of course, <laughs> I love Kath Kidston mugs, um, and it's got sausage dogs on it, um, I knew they did a teacup and saucer and they did like a little plate, a teapot, there's tea towels all in this um, sausage dog design, but I didn't know they did a mug and it was with all the new design mugs so I don't know if maybe it's a new thing um, because obviously sausage dogs have become really popular but because we are looking to add a sausage dog to our family I had to pick up the mug. I went in hoping that I could maybe buy the teacup and saucer but they didn't have it unfortunately um, but now that I've seen the print in the flesh I definitely need all of the stuff in it but for now the mug will have to do and I'm going to have a wagon wheel as well.